This week, Prada and Macklemore ditch fur. This Game of Thrones star is the lord of cryptocurrency. And find out how Woody Harrelson is speaking up for animals. All that and more on Live Kindly's weekly vegan news. Luxury fashion label Prada is going fur free. To make this commitment possible, the luxury Italian fashion label worked closely with nonprofit organizations, Humane Society International, Fur Free Alliance, and Italian animal rights group LAV. Prada previously used fur from foxes, minks, and rabbits in its collections. Prada head designer Miucha Prada hinted that the brand may launch faux fur. She said in a press release, focusing on innovative materials will allow the company to explore new boundaries of creative design while meeting the demand for ethical products. Founded in 1913 by Miucha's grandfather Mario Prada, the fashion house is considered one of the biggest and most influential names in the industry. Prada has a number of celebrity fans, including Captain Marvel star Brie Larson, Jeff Goldblum, Elle Fanning, Mia Yokovich, Dua Lipa, Regina King, and Amy Adams. Prada's subsidiary Miu Miu, launched by Miucha in 1993, will also go fur free beginning with its 2020 women's collection. Prada joins a number of other top labels in banning fur from its collections, including Gucci, Versace, Burberry, Dion von Furstenberg, Chanel, and Donna Karen. Prada's spring-summer 2020 collection will be the first to show off the label's fur-free look. Macklemore has given up meat and recently opted for faux fur at the Met Gala. The rapper revealed on social media that he now follows a meat-free diet and has no plans to stop. The rapper showed off his meat-free meal on Snapchat. He said, It's a beautiful day in the Pacific Northwest out here, and I'm grilling, but I'm not grilling meat. That's right, this is vegetables. He elaborated, This is health. I've been off the meat for 30 days. I feel the same. I'm still the same weight, but I'm in it for the long haul, baby. We healthy, 2019. It seems the Washington native, whose real name is Ben Haggerty, is further extending his compassion to all animals. Macklemore is well known for his extravagant style. However, he makes sure his fashion choices are animal friendly. He shared his Met Gala look, a trailing vegan faux white fur coat, with his Instagram followers earlier this month. Coming up. Wild circuses may soon be banned in the United States. Justin Bieber is teaming up with Schmidt's Naturals to launch a vegan, cruelty-free deodorant. Pop a top of Schmidt's Natural Deodorant and enter a world of plant-powered ingredients that smell seriously amazing. Called Here and Now, Schmidt says it worked closely with Bieber to develop everything about the product, from the label to the scent. The fragrance has not yet been revealed, but ingredients will be all natural. The brand formulates its stick deodorants with ingredients like baking soda, coconut oil, and arrowroot powder. According to the Unilever-owned natural brand, its Bieber-inspired vegan deodorant will help it reach new customers. Schmidt CEO and co-founder Michael Camerata told People, the time was right to make something happen and bring to life an exclusive product collaboration that will bring new fans into the naturals category. Bieber announced the collaboration on Instagram, Ready for here and now. New collab coming this fall with Schmidt's Naturals. Bieber's wife, 22-year-old Haley Baldwin, niece to vegan actor Alec Baldwin, is an advocate of clean beauty. She became an ambassador for cruelty-free and vegan-friendly makeup brand Bare Minerals in September 2018. Along with its vegan Bieber-inspired deodorant, the brand also plans to launch hemp and CBD varieties in Target stores this fall. Circus animal suffering could soon come to an end in the United States. A bill that bans the use of wild animals in traveling circuses was just introduced in Congress. The measure, called the Traveling Exotic Animal and Public Safety Protection Act, was presented to the House of Representatives on May 22nd. The bill would amend the Animal Welfare Act, a law that has monitored human treatment of animals in research, transport, entertainment, and more since 1966. If passed into law, the bill would ban traveling circuses and similar acts from using exotic animals. The bill's website explains the adverse effects of animal captivity and transport. It notes, due to severe confinement, lack of free exercise, and the restriction of natural behaviors, animals used in traveling circuses suffer and are prone to health, behavioral, and psychological problems. Hurt him, don't touch him. Make him scream! It is common for circus staff to use bullhooks, whips, electric prods, and metal bars to incite unnatural behavior from the animals. 
Coming up, Woody Harrelson speaks up for animal rights. Game of Thrones may now officially be over, but vegan actor Jerome Flynn, who played Sir Bronn of the Blackwater, I only need one of the Lannister brothers alive, is building a vegan cryptocurrency empire. Now the lord of ethical blockchain, the British actor announced that he joined the advisory board for Vegan Coin, launched by UK Israeli company Vegan Nation. Vegan Coin is the first ever vegan currency. It's the building ground for a global vegan economy and ecosystem. The group aims to create a global vegan ecosystem, and Vegan Coin is one component of that. The website states, a trading system based on blockchain technology will enable the use of smart contracts, making it possible for a consumer to know exactly how the product he purchased was handled, guaranteeing an ethical chain of supply. Other initiatives include launching an e-commerce platform that would use blockchain-based vegan coin as payment. According to CCN, Vegan Coin has raised almost $10 million of their $60 million target through its ongoing ICO, Initial Coin Offering. Vegan actor Woody Harrelson urges Texas to ban its cruel pig rodeo. He has called on Texas Governor Greg Abbott to ban the yearly bacon bash in Bandera. Bandera, Texas is known as the cowboy capital of the world and has held the event that includes a wild hog catch for the past 17 years. Harrelson, a Texas native, penned a letter to Abbott on behalf of international animal rights nonprofit PETA, calling on him to cancel future events. I have a lot of pride in my home state and the compassionate, independent spirit of my fellow Texans, the 57-year-old vegan actor began. That's why I was shocked to learn about the cruelty that pigs are subjected to at something called the Bacon Bash held near Bandera. Harrelson continued, This violent spectacle encourages children and adults alike to scare, injure, and torment animals for entertainment. The world doesn't need more bullies. That's it for today. What do you think of Woody Harrelson's stance? Let us know in the comments below. And if you haven't yet, remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell. We'll see you again next week for Live Kindly's Weekly Vegan News.